Hello! Welcome back to another Scrim School Scrimcast. If you are new here, I am your host, Bobby Sox. I do PvP things decent at best, but one thing I do well is bring some really, really cool guests together. Uh, the guests this week are Ramsey, who's in the chat, my dude, and Redeemer. Absolute Trials Warlords. I'm super excited to have these guys on here. Um, the way that Scrim School works is the first hour-ish, we spend some time meeting the guests of the week. We uh, um, we talk with them, we share uh, our opinions on state of the games, things like that. And then hour two-ish, we pull in chat, we pull in viewers, we pull in students, and we, uh, we teach. Or if there's nobody that's willing to learn, we pull in some of the uh, the better players, and the goal is to try and beat our two guests. So let's uh, let's unmute our guests of the week, and we'll do some intros. Yeah. Gentlemen, 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 how's it going? Was good. Thank you for uh, being in here this week. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a good one. I've, uh, I've been watching both of you guys for a while, uh, so it's kind of fun to have you on here. Thank uh, you for having us. Yeah, yeah. So let's start it out. We're going to do some intros. Tell who you are, what you do. It doesn't have to be just in-game. It can be what you enjoy in real life as well. Uh, let's kick it off. All right, I'll start. I'm Redeemer. Uh, I stream at Twitch. I basically just help people with comp or trials. And uh, yeah, I float in the back of the map on Top Tree Dawnblade with a sniper usually. <laughs> so yeah, that's, yes, that's what do. I do. <laughs> Ramsey, what you got? Yeah, um, I'm Ramsey. I uh, also stream on Twitch and uh, I also help uh, people on, with uh, trials and comp and uh, just kind of, I enjoy teaching people. But uh, we basically jam out and buy about men. Just a little bit. I dig it, I dig it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Ramsey, you got some sleep. I know Redeemer didn't, but uh, you were gaming. Oh. oh, yeah, I did. I got sleep. <laughs> I actually just woke up. Nice, dude. Nice. Let's see if I can turn you up a little bit, because you're a little quiet, Ramsey. Yeah, my mic's a little messed up, man. Oh, that's better. At least I can see you hitting the yellow bar now. All right, so um, I don't know if you two have tuned into a scrim school before. So uh, kind of what the, the the process is, is we discuss play the game, how we're feeling about it. We ask some questions, chat asks questions as well. And then we jump in and do some uh, practicals. So let's, uh, let's kick it off with my favorite topic of Beyond Light, stasis. How are you feeling about it? Um, I don't know. It's a little annoying, but I think it's gotten a lot better since they nerfed the cold snap and like the ice flare bolts and stuff on the warlock. Um, I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty annoying when you get frozen a lot, but I mean, I would take this over like mountaintop and stuff like that in a heartbeat. So, for sure. Big facts. Yeah, um, it's just yeah, it's just really annoying sometimes. Like the uh, Glacianade slam thing or the Glacianade slide through thing is kind of, I find that a little ridiculous. Like the week where we didn't like figure that out, it was great because I wasn't getting frozen that much. And then <laughs> the Glacianade thing <laughs> happened and I, I'm getting ran by it. Yeah, yeah. The Glacianades are, uh, they're interesting for sure. Have you guys personally tried Stasis or Blade on it as a class? Yeah, I started with uh, Warlock because it looked the most lucrative to me because you could have like a ton of fragments and like two aspects. I think you can have four fragments on the Warlock, but they nerfed it. And so I just went back to Top Tree Dawn on Warlock. But I have been playing quite a bit of Stasis Titan and that's like my new favorite class. Like the mobility <laughs> on it is insane. And the synergy with like the resilience and everything is just, it's really nice. It's, it's pretty yeah. fun to watch for sure. Yeah, I've been using the Hunter Stasis a lot. I really enjoy that. Um, and the Titan one as well, because you can Titan Skate on it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweet, I dig it. So uh, what uh, 
what else? How are you feeling about Beyond Light as a whole? Um, what's your uh, what's your favorite points first? Favorite points probably would be like the new raid. I don't think there's like a lot to talk about in terms of like PvP. Really, the only thing that Beyond Light did for PvP was add the new subclasses. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think like my favorite parts so far have been Europa and just the raid as a whole. It's probably like one of my favorite raids in Destiny, for sure. I 100% agree with that, Ramsey. What you got? Yeah, I I agree with him. I I like this is the first time that I've actually been raiding every week for like three times or more like last week i did the raid like six times um regardless of like rewards and such i think uh, the pv aspect is amazing um but losing a fairly like, a good amount of maps and right <laughs> and uh yeah that stuff it's a little iffy i i do think that the sandbox is amazing yeah, just some you know a little i don't know a little tweaks with stasis and i think it could be like the best sandbox that we've ever had i i 100 percent agree um, i definitely uh i definitely enjoy it i really do i i 100 feel like the uh the sandbox is the best we've we've seen at least in in quite a few years um just for the variability you know you can play with any weapon class and it still feels like it's competitive you know so um let's talk classes obviously redeemer we know that you are a dawn blade floaty boy ramsey what is your main oh dude i'm a hunter main man <laughs> okay okay uh obviously redeemer is uh dawn blade but what uh what subclass you main uh i well before stasis i main spectral uh but now I see myself switching between Spectra and uh, Stasis. Okay, okay. Um, cool. So we can actually talk about that. What uh, This is one of my favorite questions here. What is one do you feel is something that needs to be buffed with your class? Because obviously it's your main. And then we'll follow it up with one thing that you feel needs to be nerfed. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I really don't <laughs> think there's much that needs to be buffed on like Dawnblade really i don't know maybe i guess like the hit detection on like uh the swords when you're popping your super could be buffed i guess like better oh hit detection God. yeah yeah <laughs> um but like the class as a whole like the melee is really strong the grenades really strong the movement's really strong so i don't think there's a lot that needs to be buffed in that okay. area but nerf wise i would say the celestial fire tracking <laughs> and the fact that you can throw it across the like entire map is pretty strong i think it should be like ice flare bolts maybe where like it only has like a certain range of like it's got meters. like a drop off yeah 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 i mean that makes perfect sense um it doesn't only have to be about dawnblade too like are there any other buffs that you'd like to see <laughs> for the class as a whole that may make you play on the other classes yeah, I'd definitely like to see like a Nova buff, like just Nova Bomb. I think that class could be strong if it had like better melee and grenades. I don't know. Just like the neutral game is not that strong. Is, right, right. There's like really no reason not to play Top Tree Dawnblade for Warlock. So I think all the other classes need to be brought up to that level. I, I definitely feel that. I huge respect to that one. Um, I would love to see all the classes get a little love for Warlock for sure. Ramsey, what you got? Yeah, yeah so for, <laughs> for Spectral, I think the, what needs to be buffed is the hit reg, man. Uh, I feel like they changed something with the hit reg this or something, I don't know, but I've been having a lot of issues with like it uh, actually like going to the person and killing them because like, right. I swipe and then I do the uppercut and it just doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't like get to the person, but that definitely needs like some buff or something done Dude. with. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I think what could be toned down is the smoke. Cause it's, okay. I don't know, like I feel like if it's, it, it, it's kind of like stasis. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. like the stasis before like stasis. But now I don't know. I mean, I think, and the and the super duration as well. I think the super duration is a little long, even though uh, Behemoth is a 
taking the cake on the super duration now. But uh, I think if they buffed like a golden gun, I don't know. I because what, what I feel specifically like, like golden gun as a whole time. Yeah, I think I think I think so. I think they need to increase like the damage resistance so you can't get one shot. Okay. And, uh, so you think like an armor buff? Yeah, because I mean I would run goldie more if i didn't get one shot at a super and it was like <laughs> right yeah <laughs> no big facts um i think hit reg is is a huge thing just no matter which class you play anything that's got a roaming super or like a melee type hit i've watched i've watched sentinel titans push people away me and spec i definitely light attack heavy attacked a uh, a titan in the air three times and end up pushing him off the map on jab Dude, it's ridiculous. I didn't, I didn't, I got the hit markers like I killed him and it made noise like I killed him and he was still there. So I did it again and he was still there. So I did it again and, uh, <laughs> and he, uh, he, I ended up just like force pushing him off the map. It was, it was pretty amazing. Um, but I think that's more of an engine thing than it is or a peer to peer than anything else. I would just yeah. love to see that as a whole get tuned for sure i i think it might be like a connection issue because like i don't know i feel like if they knew how to fix it they would have fixed it by now like it's oh, been yeah. so long oh yeah absolutely absolutely 100 percent agree so we talked classes let's talk uh weapon types let's talk what uh what do you like maining what do you think is the most fun in a competitive setting and what do you think is the most fun in just a messing around setting um, I don't know. I'd say the best guns in the game right now are pulses and hand cannons. Um, I would say like no time to explain is just ridiculously strong. I'd say it's pretty much pay to win uh, at this point. Like when you have that arc soul, like th that arc soul team shots better than my actual teammates in quick play. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. And then like I I'm having a lot of fun with Ace of Spades, like a lot of other people. And uh, Aw Stringer is really fun right now. I'm trying to get a good True Prophecy, but I haven't got one to drop yet. So You mean Is Luna? <laughs> no, the, <laughs> we're not true. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is uh, Aw Stringer is Is Luna, yep, basically. Exactly. Um, well, you do know that they pulled True Prophecy from the loot pool when they added in the Seventh Seraph, right? Uh, I've heard that it can still drop, like it's still dropping for people. It's just like really, really rare now. It's down to like a 0.1%. Yeah, it's something like that. I turned in like 10,000 tokens the other day and I didn't get a single one, so. Right, I, I mean, to be fair, I did that Gross. back last season with Dire when I was trying to farm for that God Roll Dire. And uh, I turned in like 15,000 Crucible tokens, didn't get a single one to drop. And then right afterwards, I went into comp and my first comp game I had like I got one to drop with uh with snapshot and rangefinder it's funny how that works yeah dude it was wild I was so mad <laughs> it was like I was just sitting there token farming I got nothing I got nothing I got nothing jumped into the first game I was like are you kidding me <laughs> yeah all right Ramsey what you got what's um, your uh what's your main for weapons dude honestly uh dire still feels amazing and uh, I've been using uh, also uh, ace as well um 120s are amazing like they're really really awesome mm -hmm. like uh and uh i enjoyed using them a fair amount but uh when i mess around and stuff like i i used uh heritage and trusty trusty is amazing like trusty is actually not like ba that bad like if you know how to like uh uh like play distance good mm -hmm. You could you could frag out with that. It's it's Trusty's actually really fun. It? Trusty, uh, or no, that's it's the, the scout rifle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the scout rifle. Um, it's the Randy archetype. Randy's throwing knife. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But that's like really fun. I love uh, using that, and uh, I feel like this, like sandbox, you can use a lot more different things. And I do agree on the no time to explain <laughs> that being very strong. It's like stronger than uh, vigilance right <laughs> um but yeah I, I feel like you don't get punished as much for not using like actual like meta weapons in this because you know i've seen like people like calico use uh bows and <laughs> anything else <laughs> and it's uh 
fairly uh, awesome to watch. Yeah, no, Cal, Cal, I mean, really, Cal can pick up anything and uh, um, absolutely dominate with it. Yeah, that's true. He's pretty nuts, just as a player as a whole. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get into the the nitty gritty thing. Um, so I'm sure everyone's seen the uh, the face it rules. Uh, how do you all feel about them? Um, I think they're pretty good. Like honestly, like that shatter dive thing with the uh, the glacier nade is stronger than mountain top i would say like i would argue that interesting um, but i don't know we'll have to see because i could see like behemoth being really annoying and stuff like that so we'll just have to see if like they end up nerfing uh stasis and i have seen that they've been talking about like not allowing sunset weapons to be used which mm -hmm. i think is a mistake but really i don't know how come yeah Explain. i mean i think like when you're like the the fun part about like scrims and tournaments is watching the best players use the best stuff so i think like you shouldn't handicap people you know just because it's sunset you know like it's yeah. still in the game technically so i mean and it's still I, the best option i definitely see that from a different perspective of what if there are newer players coming in that uh can't go get a dire can't go get uh mind benders can't go get a you know a spare obviously or a beloved like the same argument goes for bow hunters right mm -hmm. yeah but i you could like i would argue that mind benders is better than bow hunters but again like people wouldn't have it that's that's just like more of a bungee like not putting in more good loot issue right than than it is like a sunset weapon issue i feel like i don't know we have we do not have like enough good loot to replace what's been sunset right now not even close yeah i, I agree with that yeah yeah in term in terms of like weapons like P P like comp pvp weapons yeah i agree because there's not that many like 140s or uh shotguns that you can choose from what you can only choose like what foe enters maybe astro and uh, Seraph and then the raid one yeah but i heard I the raid know, one's just, really good yeah it, it is it's just I, it just can't compete with like fell hunters and my men is because i mean they're aggressives and you don't need to hit the head for a one shot you know right i mean um yeah no that that definitely makes sense i mean uh ramsey how do you feel about the current rules do you is there anything that you'd like to see i know I know that there was a hot take on uh, in the Discord yesterday about 600s not being as oppressive. Uh, do you feel that's the case? Yeah, honestly, like, uh, yeah, now, like, in this handbox, I haven't really had an issue with, like, 600s, like, beaming me and running me over. So I think, uh, I think they'd be fine. I just think... I, I think I fear is that three people would run it and then they'd just be spamming corners the whole time. I think that's what the fear is. Um, cause spamming, it was more about holding the angle more than it was like how, like da how much damage it was doing because like the amount of like bullets that you can output, like you can't like move from like a position that you like you can't, get, can't right. get out of, you know? Right, right. Lane spam yeah um the stasis thing i don't know i i wish they like i don't know i i, I wish they didn't allow stasis because like god dude the, the titan one and i don't know i just didn't i don't know <laughs> yeah interesting okay i mean i'm i'm kind of on the other side of the fence with that that i like to see the progression you know it's it's cool and all seeing the dyers and the and the spares and the beloveds and the fell winters, but I mean it's been two years of that. Like, um, I I kind of enjoyed seeing the, a bit of a change towards it. Obviously, don't give let everybody have stasis. You know, don't let each class run stasis like you could in the past with you know, three classes running void, or yeah, like three characters running void. Um. But I think overall, 
I didn't think it was that bad. Even with Shatter Dive, as long as, you know, Titan Behemoth has theirs, it's still, in my opinion, it's still beatable anyway. That's just my yeah. thoughts on it. Yeah, I would like to see them keep stasis in, but have it limited to one per class. Yep. I think I think for Shatter Dive to be allowed in face it, it would need a cooldown or something because I don't it's just so ridiculous. Like it's actually so stupid. Like for an average player, it's not that good, like hard to play against, but for a good player doing it, like it's basically a free kill every single time. And like once it's three V two, it's it's just so much harder to right. uh, to get out of that. So, LeClear just jumped in and he says, Do you guys feel that stasis without fragments and aspects is a decent balance for the class itself inside scrims and such? As in, no shatter dive, no titan, behemoth slide, no slowing dodge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, yeah, I think that'd be. I think that'd be interesting, yeah. And then you could have it as like no limit on the stasis classes that way and see how that plays out. But would you feel that hunters would be picked for stasis versus something like uh um like a goldie or a arc staff would it be picked over for that in in higher level uh, i think I it guess, would yeah, yeah because of like the ability to, like freeze or slow someone down for a certain amount of time i think that's just really strong yeah no doubt the the shuriukens or whatever yeah. yeah those shurikens if you slow someone you can pretty much push for free with a shoddy and get a kill on them like there's not a lot they can do it's like being smoked pretty much right it's, it's even more aggressive than smoke sometimes too as long as you yeah. have both your charges yeah absolutely i mean yeah. and it passes through and hits the next target too you know first one gets frozen second ones get slowed um how do you feel about the five second timers now do you think it's too short i mean I spent like seven hours in the Discord yesterday just listening to everybody go on their rants. Um, so I had a couple, uh, quite a few talking, po talking points for this. Yeah, I think the main goal is just to like prevent spawn trapping as much as possible. And like, it's like try to have your teammates like spawn with you as much as possible because getting slit spawn against good players is, you know, very difficult to regroup. And it pretty much just snowballs like that. But yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to really wait and see and how it plays out and what people think about it. It's hard I, to predict that kind of thing. Yeah, I know the, the big talking point was everyone was really mad that the extra or the loss of the two seconds. But I see it from the stance of it stops spawn splits and it stops spawn trapping. You know, because if you get a pick across the map and you push in by the time you're there the third's back up so it feels a lot more flow exactly exactly like Luke Hager says uh five seconds feels like a continuous gunfight um yeah, i think it's a good thing for sure Ramsey, i, I think agree? it's a good thing as well yeah because um I, I don't know for me it's like i don't think there's i, I guess spawn trapping is like you know i don't know I, I don't think it's that skillful only because like anyone can really do it efficiently so I feel like if you're in a continuous gunfight and then you and you get snowballed because they have a better mm -hmm. shot and they're out teaming you, I feel like that's a lot more competitive than just getting split spawn and then getting three v two almost every time. And plus, it's just it's just aggravating because you just sit there for like twenty minutes, fifteen to thirty, like twenty minutes, and you're just getting split spawn, and it's just like it's very very hard to recover i don't even think the best teams could recover from like being that like that split spawn unless you get a super and you you know pop it off and try and take it over that way that's the only yeah. i think that's the only time that i've at high levels anyway that you see that um you get out of a split spawn yeah i i i agree i i think that that change is is solid for sure um i really do yeah, exactly. It's either split spawn game or continuous gunfight. I do enjoy, um, I enjoy the gun skill more than the hey push left, hey push right, hey push left, hey push right. You know, it it really highlights your weapon skill versus who can run across the map fastest, or in Redeemer's case, who can Nickers dash the fastest. <laughs> true. Yeah. True. <laughs> you know. 
you get your pick of the sniper in the back and you Icarus dash twice, and guess what? You're in spawns. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of, like, respawn game modes is controlling the spawns pretty much, and, like, they'll have someone say, yo, hold this spawn, I'm gonna go push this, you know, with the yep. sniper or something. So that's really the whole point of it. Yeah, I dig it. Um, maps. You like the maps that are included? You think we should have just stuck with the same same? Um, would you like to see more maps? What's a what's a low key map that you enjoy? Hmm. Uh, I don't really like the maps that they added. To be honest, I don't know. I would have rather like kept them the same maps. I think. Um. I just. I don't know. I I've never really liked Anomaly in D one. And <laughs> I hate Anomaly, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I get I just, it. <laughs> yeah, Anomaly is just like corridor after corridor, like room after room. Like there's no lanes really or anything. Yeah. Yep. Um, but Cauldron, like I don't mind it as much. I think Cauldron could be okay. But yeah, that just like it doesn't play the same. Like Exodus used to play so good in D1 like tournaments and scrims, yeah. but it just doesn't play very well in this game. So. Yeah, I could see Cauldron being fine because. It- I mean, I don't know. I think the mid is just the problem. The rest of the map is fine. But yeah, I, I think Exodus and Anomaly are kind of dog shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love Dead Cliffs, and I always love Dead Cliffs, so. Well, it's a good thing that you both picked that as the map. <coughs> <laughs> Which made it a lot easier, for sure. Um, I, think, I think Cauldron would be great if and only if the doors stayed open. Yeah. Like if the doors yeah. were just archways, yeah. that map would play so well. But yeah, having to run up, open a door, and then stare at a uh, stare at a red dot is fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you that's, slide that's always like, been the. <laughs> I feel like that's always been the argument with uh, Cauldron is like if only the doors weren't there or something like that. You know, right, right, something to that effect. And I mean, honestly, in Face It, nobody's really going to pick those maps anyway. Let's be real. Those are the first ones voted off every time. Yeah, but if, if I'm playing against, say, Are You in Face It, I'm picking Cauldron. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm just not picking him. Yeah, if you're playing Sergio, pick something like Cauldron or Anomaly and just get in real close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Same rule yeah. applies for uh, LeClear. If you if you match LeClear, pick a close range. <laughs> yes, sir. I, 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 oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I, I like I would like them to add like asylum back into this game and then see how that plays, but oh, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna add maps anytime soon. It doesn't seem like that's really high on their list of priorities at the moment. Yeah, I mean I'm there's some there's some raid bugs that need to be fixed and obviously in the invincible titan first. So yeah. that it, so that we can do a little bit, you know. Um, not to not to mention all the skyboxes on the existing maps right now. Oh my like god. That. Le- actually leclerc spent 15 minutes in last night's stream um just hopping around exodus and like going to found like 10 or 11 different spots that you can use to get off map it was pretty wild it was fun to watch for sure mm-hmm. um i haven't really seen too many on uh um on the other maps as much i don't know have you guys seen that uh, I actually haven't been killed by that stuff, thank God, because I'd get, like, frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I was gonna ask, like, you guys think that Asylum would be too small with how, like, the movement works in this game, or would it be, like, the perfect, like, distance for scrims and stuff? Well, I mean, look at, yeah. look at Anomaly. Or, or, yeah, Anomaly, where it's hard. It's way small, dude. Yeah, anomaly is tiny. Yeah, I think for sixes, asylum would kind of be like a cluster, but for threes, it would play pretty well. But yeah, I don't know. Asylum is just a well-designed map. Honestly, yeah, I right I loved here. asylum. So I'm guessing both of you were uh, D1 vets. Um, oh yeah, dude. Do you remember that map that was like the hive design, and it had like the the bridge up top, and then like the center room that dropped down? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. How do you think, think that yeah, would play that. in D2? Mm, I never really liked that map in D1, to be honest. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. It, it, it did have the two lanes and then the middle lane that kind of like led up to the circle in the middle with the drop down, like you said. Mm-hmm. 
um, and then the two separate spawns. It was kind of symmetrical, but I don't know. I just didn't really like that map. Um, I don't know. There's not a lot of maps that I think need to be brought back from D1. I think they should just like make new good maps, but yeah. Asylum is like a fan favorite map that I think should return at some point. But... Oh, absolutely. It's like Nuketown, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's exactly what it is. It, that was one of the most common ones too. It was great. Um, all right, so we got a question from chat. Lycan says, uh, I know Gunslinger was brought up as a point earlier. I feel like Deadshot is a wasted perk now. So how would you rework it to make it more in line with the current standard of neutral game? I don't really use golden guns, so I probably <laughs> wouldn't be able to answer that that well, um, to be honest. Uh, that's yeah, a tough that's one, a right? Good question. Is it? Yeah, it is tough. Only because, like, I don't know what could... Maybe... Because that's a that's a top tree perk. Um, I do notice that you do hit more on, on six shooter than... Uh, I feel like it has more. I definitely think it does have more like bullet magnetism or aim assist with dead shot, but I don't think it's enough to like have it as like a separate perk. So I feel like uh, if they made it, <sighs> dude, I, I feel like if it just had the armor, if it just had the armor increase or something there, I feel like six shooter would probably be like insane because the amount like kill potential. Um, For sure yeah uh either armor increase or rework it right uh <laughs> dude, uh, maybe if it gave you like some health dude <laughs> okay like a health regen if you hit yeah and it and, it does, and it's not armor so like if you're getting shot at and then you can just kind of regen every time you shoot someone okay kind of like a uh um kind of like a devour type yeah hmm because <laughs> Because uh, Warlock and Titans have their, like, uh, cla like supers or perks that give them their health back. And I don't really see them that on Hunter that much. The, yeah. I mean, Hunter is kind of... I think Bungie's idea with Hunter is um, high risk, high reward. Is kind of how that class is played out. Or supposed to be. <laughs> Nerf know. them when Warlock is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Always. That's That's... That's the that's the mentality. Oh, Warlock has a uh, has a broken uh, class. Nerf dodge. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that changes. Uh, even now with the dodge, with the stasis dodge, I don't think it, that was particularly needed. Maybe like two seconds, but like four, dude. I don't know. Do you think that it's needed though with back risk? Because I'm I'm sure that's why the dodge was was adjusted is because of that. Yeah, but they could have they could have made it to where once you equip Bakris, it would decrease all your mobility so so it would have like a oh uh you know like the stat decrease, right? So it would have that like little thing that says it cuz you know when you put on mods like uh like protective light says oh negative uh, 10 strength and stuff like that. So maybe when you put on Bakris it's like oh negative 4 seconds on dodge, you know. Okay interesting i, I kind of like that um redeemer as a warlock how do you how do you feel what they did with the adjustments with the online do you think that there's a couple stuff they uh overtuned like to keep you away from the class completely or yeah i just think like people kind of figured out that you can just run from the super like when it first came out like it kind of was like it was really good because people didn't understand but like the super it just has no mobility it's like nova warp but like you know like you, people can just run from it like you're not going to catch a stompy hunter you're not going to catch a top tree dawn and you're not going to catch the new stasis titan on the new like warlock in your super and like now that the neutral game isn't as strong as it was it's just like not worth using in my opinion over top tree dawn like there's just no reason to okay. it's good for quick play farming still but like against a good top tree dawn like you're probably gonna lose to mm -hmm. be honest i mean top tree dawn is obviously still the the highest uh um highest stat class you know for warlocks anyway the most used it's the uh the creme de la creme for warlocks yeah but i really do like stasis titan 
I think it make like Titan really needed something to make it more competitive. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like the mobility on Titan was just not good enough. And like, yeah, Dune Marchers are good and everything, but they're still like, it takes a special player to like fully utilize it, you know? So I think Stasis Titan definitely makes Titans way more competitive as a whole and more viable, which is good. I like it. Let's, uh, I mean, we've talked a lot of Hunter and uh, Warlock, but let's, uh, let's talk Titan for a bit. Uh, what kept you away from the class in the past, and what, uh, I mean, obviously Stasis is bringing a lot of people over to Titan, but, I mean, there was some, there's some hidden gems. I've watched some really good players use things like the Top Tree Sentinel, with the Shield Bash and everything else, that held their own in, in tourneys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, what can me, I, for me, like, Ever since D1, I just don't like Titans. I just it's just more of like a bias thing. I just never liked them. They're very frustrating because you just I, 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 I mean I don't want to use a stereotype, but they just kind of just mindlessly run at you <laughs> and then just melee you, dude. And then with the Glacianade and the slide, dude, I hate getting killed by a slide, bro. Like, <laughs> like you just gonna freeze me and then slide on me, bro. Like, dude. but uh, I actually found myself going more to the class because of stasis, only because of the skating. Uh, in D1, I, I was able to time skate because I clawed. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was very fun. Like the movement was very fun. Like because going very fast and stuff. I think that's very, that's what has brought me back to like using Titan more. Uh, before, I just, yeah, the movement. It was just mainly the movement that was the issue. Like if, if so if they had like Twilight Garrison with, uh, without like, uh, if, if say like last like season, they're yeah, like Twilight Garrison, dude. I think Titan would be pretty competitive. Like, it would, be, it would compete with the other classes. Uh, Wyvern is also really good with uh, Titan and Cool Cheese. But, like... Oh, yeah. Cool Cheese on Titan. No, not many people can be, fun. like, you know, Wyvern <laughs> and Cool Cheese, you know? Like, I guess it's more of, like, a class that you have to play for so long, dude, that you're just better than everyone else at it, you know? Do you think that Titan has... It? This is a fun one. Which class do you think is the... Uh, um the highest skill ceiling currently Ooh. Hmm. um yeah a... I, I would say uh probably like the new hunter stasis is pretty good like hunters in general like a good hunter is really difficult to be and really annoying mm -hmm. um because they can just be stomping everywhere like the shurikens, you can basically win every shoddy fight if you use your shurikens correctly. And with the stasis grenade, you can pretty much shut down any super that's pushing you. You just throw it at the ground when they get on top of you and you slam and you immediately yep. kill them. Yep. So uh, I think uh, my answer would be hunter stasis. Okay. Um, For me, like, I, I agree with the hunter stasis thing, but I feel like in, like, sixes and, like, uh, like comp and stuff, if you get the the, the i don't know if it's the aspect yeah it's the aspect on warlock where once you freeze someone it'll like track to the other person i feel like that's really like uh fun to play with because then you can just freeze like four people and just um, chain in it terms through of fun, yeah like that's very fun like i feel like because i there was like a good minute where i was playing warlock and like i was just throwing <laughs> my melee <laughs> and it was just freezing and chaining uh but I don't know. I think I still think Warlock can be really good if you just if if it's played a lot. Uh, I do it like I do agree that the super is really slow. I think if it was just the mobility was just increased a bit more, it would be much more viable. Because uh, you c realistically like the the I think the bolts from the super are like I think they have infinite range. I'm not too sure like what the range is, but it seems to be like you can shoot it and it'll just like keep going until it's like a wall or something so if you can like maybe like curve it around like corners and stuff you could probably catch like some acres dash and some people running as long as you can time it right that that's that's yeah. a good point i i i do think that that's got a a pretty high i'm gonna say as a whole i still think warlocks have the highest skill ceiling yeah i really do um a really really good dawn blade warlock is uh tough to beat i mean you know you you match these guys like potato and then panda that can just 
do these crazy things with it with any class they really play but especially top dawn you know um we have a question in chat uh nova says um would you like to see self res return sometime in the future and if so which tree of dawn blade would you replace <laughs> hmm i mean i i really don't think they're ever going to add self res back in the game uh i would kind of, i don't know i wouldn't really care that much i don't think it was that good it was just like another thing to worry about in trials but yeah i really don't think they're gonna add it back into the game due to the fact that like it was used to solo so many activities in the raid and d1 and stuff like that that they kind of like don't want that to be a thing anymore like right it pretty much just negated like i remember you could only solo oryx if you were like a self-resing warlock because it like negated <laughs> some of the mechanics so i yeah. don't think they're gonna ever bring back self-res but yeah i would probably replace uh bottom tree dawn with it okay it's, it's, um, i mean bottom tree dawn's just for pve anyway for the most part yeah uh, Rams, I, what you got? I was gonna say uh what like for self-res yeah it would probably never come back but uh I mean, I, I think they would have to sacrifice well if if they were going to bring it back for people to use it. <clears throat> like, because, I don't know, I think... Because then Dawnblade would be overall, like... Like, all three trees would literally be amazing, you know? Because Sufferance is really strong in PvE. And you could just tell, like... I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to say some rude, but, like, people who can't stay alive very well <laughs> to just run that... <laughs> right um but i was thinking what do you guys think about the 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 perk where you could uh just turn on sun singer and you have your grenades and your melee fast <laughs> like <laughs> yeah how that would play out i think it'd be pretty fun to see just just <laughs> throwing sticky nades and <laughs> everywhere again uh that was fun i don't know I, I know a lot of people hated that but i found it really fun do you think it'd be fun? I mean, it's fun to use, but do you think it'd be fun to go against in a in a trials or a scrim setting? Uh, with <laughs> hard questions. With right? like, yeah, <laughs> because like I did a D one like tourneys and scrims and such, and it, I don't know. I don't think it was. I forgot if it was banned or if it just wasn't used. But I don't know. I with the nature of the game, like. I think it was allowed. What what made it so strong was you got like a ton of extra armor, and I remember people would run ram with that, and you mm -hmm. would just have a ton of armor. And at the time, firebolts were also insanely strong. <laughs> uh, firebolts like aren't really that good in this game anymore. Like solar is much better. You can block off entire areas yeah. of the map and stuff like that. Right. But yeah, that's pretty much what made that so strong was the firebolts and the fact that you had just so much armor. And it, and you had a one hit melee right when you popped it, so oh. that wasn't bad either. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, question from just for bad gamers. Question from a trash PvP player who's only been flawless three out of uh, I'm gonna go with 1.65 trillion times. Uh, Crimson or last word? Uh, is he a controller player? He's a console player. Oh, um. Ooh. So yes, mm. controller. <laughs> I would say last word, honestly. Yeah. But, okay. Last word is pretty strong. Like, it's really good for uh, people aping you on shotgun. I know on PC, like Crimson is still pretty good. Like I played against a Crimson player today who wasn't bad. So Crimson is like a lot better now. I feel like in the meta, but I would say last word on controller is just like it's really really strong. Really strong. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty insane. I mean, Crimson's got a huge buff, too, this season. It's pretty nuts, too. That's a tough mm -hmm. one. That really is. Um, all right. Next question is from Lycan. What do you think of removing quick draw from pellet-based shotguns, making you have to pick between a range roll with low handling or a handling roll with low range? Mm, I don't I don't like that at all. No, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't I think... think uh, yeah, that, it just makes the game feel a lot more clunky, it's in my slower. opinion. And any like, that's why I don't like the fact that they made like 
higher zoom snipers a thing because it just it makes the game feel like not as fun you're not as powerful you know as you were so that, i just i don't like that at all to be honest i don't think removing quick draw would really do anything but just make things slower and we want i don't know i kind of want to avoid making the game slower do you think yeah, you'd have people arguing over dragon fights? shadow <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah do you think it would well do you think it would actually engage more primary fights though and kind of go for more of a gun skill type i mean at that point just do double primary if that's what you're trying to go for like if you're trying that hard to nuke shotguns just do double primaries then i feel like the primary fights are pretty like are more than last season i feel like primary fights are like in a good place right now because i think they happen a good like they happen an amount that you know i'm, I'm happy with at least i i i agree yeah. I, do. I think primaries feel a lot stronger now more than ever Especially 120s. 120s are pretty nuts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's a good one, actually. How do you feel about 120s in scrims? Stern, I think they're the best guns prophecy, in the game. Like that. Yeah, like if you have an explosive round opening shot roll on a true prophecy, um, that's really insane. And then the Sturm, if you have the catalyst, it pretty much maxes out the range and the handling. And one of the issues with 120s is the handling is so low. So like that pretty much negates all the negative things about the Sturm or about 120s in general. I'd say the Sturm is very strong. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the sights myself, but. Yeah, I agree. I don't like the sights, but it's I, strong. <laughs> I absolutely agree. I, have, I really don't, in call me crazy, I don't enjoy 120s. I don't know what mm. it is. I, I'm not, maybe my timing's off on it, but I always feel like I'm ghost bulleting or clicking one on, clicking one off just because of the, the recoil pattern. Um, but uh, I don't know, That's it. it's just my personal preference. I mean, I still I still rock that thorn well, as if it was a 150, you know? Um, let's see, Zexy asked a question, says, uh, since Fell Winters is leaving in a couple seasons, uh, how would you guys, how would guys be more attuned to buffing the range of shotguns a bit or having another seasonal shotgun like how Fell Winters was or Adored is? I would just like more like good shotguns and snipers in the game. Like that's what made D1 so fun to me. Yeah. Like you had a longbow, you had a thousand yard, you had an LDR, you had mm -hmm. all these guns to choose from. And it seems like there's only one option for snipers and shotguns right now i mean there is eye of soul and stuff like that but i don't know well they just i mean don't feel for newer the same. players there's no eye of soul yet <laughs> yeah there will be there will be though when trials comes back but i would just like a lot more selection a lot more like good shotguns so there wasn't only one option in each slot right yeah absolutely and i mean astral's good but you have to kind of farm for that good roll and you can only farm so much um Tokens. How do you feel about trials tokens? Something you think is good to farm, something you think is not good, something you think uh, could be tuned. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't really like them that much. I think it's kind of a, a boring system, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I think I think you should get loot from playing the game, like have them drop. You shouldn't, you know, just spam tokens. It's it's not as fun or exciting as getting something to drop at the end of a match or something like that. Right. Yeah, and then you spent you you there on the like what the last day, what Monday or Tuesday, like spamming your tokens. <laughs> it's just so, it's just so like, cause I'm just there, just spamming it. And it's just mm -hmm. so mindless, and it's just so like, man, why can't I just get loot from like playing, dude? <laughs> right. And I don't get why like you lose them at the end of the week. Like I've probably lost thousands and thousands of tokens oh, dude, just cause yes. I don't turn them in. I do that all like, the time. I, yeah i really don't understand the system like i think it was fine the way it was in d1 and i don't know why they're changing so much stuff yeah last time uh last season i had a turn in your tokens command in a couple streams so that i could hit it on you know on tuesday morning before reset just for I that know, it just reason. wasn't worth it near the end of the season like i just stopped turning them in because i was like dude i'm not gonna get anything from this like i already have like fifteen thousand legendary shards just like 
no incentive to turn these in. I have like all the materials that I can get from it. It's like I have 40,000 gunsmith materials, you know? Right. Uh, <clears throat> the, the pains of being a PvP main. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that in my soul. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right, so we'll, uh, I'm going to keep watching on chat. Um, if you could pick any weapon to come back from D1, doesn't have to be an exotic, but what would it be? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two answers. That's fine. Um, one for PVE and one for PvP. Um, for PVE, it would probably be Fatebringer. I don't know. That was just mm. like my favorite gun in D1, and like it was just it made PVE so much fun for me. Um, for PvP, I would say. Probably longbow or her benevolence, just one of those snipers, just like another really good low zoom sniper, like beloved. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they'll add another low zoom sniper in the game for whatever reason. Uh, did you use short gaze or did you use ambush? Um, I think I used ambush in year one and then they nerfed it and I moved to short gaze. And I, I really like short gaze. Short, yeah, I think short gaze would be fine. Then I don't think it would be like bad to add them. I mean, they would be like. I, don't, I forgot to zoom on short gaze, but it's not low zoom. Uh, I would add. Um... <laughs> I'd probably add me. matador. <laughs> Toxic. Add, yeah, ma matador and or what was a, a party crasher. Just to have more options for shotties. Um, and then for PvE, uh, damn, I really enjoyed using, uh, what was it? Forgot the name, god damn it. Uh, maybe you have another vision of confluence or, those VOG weapons were just really good. I, I enjoyed all that. Yeah, the Vogue yeah. weapons were definitely solid for sure. I, I think Matador is a really good choice because every time I stream, the like the number one question in my chat is, is is Fell Hunters coming back? Or, or, do you think they'll bring Fell Hunters back? Is <laughs> Fell Hunters, Fell Hunters, Fell Hunters? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I have no idea, honestly, because like I don't know what Bungie's up to. But um, yeah, I think just more options for shotguns and snipers would be much appreciated. I mean, that always comes back to the same thing, the loot pool, you know? Yeah. I thought they were going to bring it back with the little vault thing. Yeah, like the... there's no way it doesn't come back. Like the ornament was just in the store. So I, I think like they might do it with an Iron Banner quest or something like that. But there's no way it doesn't come back. At I mean, some that'd be point. dope. I would, I would grind for that. Let's be real. Um, yeah. For me, I was a, uh, I was a sniper main back in D1. And... Uh, Mine was the, my legendary was the Haro Defiance of Yasmin. The sniper from the Taken King. Mm -hmm, with like the weird scope. Yeah. Oh yeah. The the Halo sniper is really what it was. I used that shit everywhere. PvE, PvP, did not matter. It never came off. And if it did come off, it was replaced by the Land Beyond. Okay, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I, I actually asked that question pretty much every single uh, scrimcast. And... Um, I rarely ever hear No Land Beyond as as one of the picks. You know, yeah. for seeing it so much in Trials, almost nobody ever says it. Yeah, I just don't know how it would play on mouse and keyboard. It might be, like, actually pretty strong. Like, you know, just be able to click on someone's head that fast. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I don't know if you're, like the way, what made No Land Beyond so like good, despite it not having a scope and like you had to reload cancel to make it good. <laughs> um it was like the flinch like it had zero flinch until yeah. year three when they added like all the flinch um plus that like i don't know if anyone remembers but year three of d1 they just completely nuked the special ammo economy and so everyone used that in a sidearm because it pretty much negated the special ammo economy so yeah yep. th that's why people use no land beyond so much but i don't know how it would play on pc too well I don't that's know. true that's very true um and then for meme weapons, what uh, what's one thing you'd like back for pre-nerf? Something for fun that you would run in sixes or whatever. Uh, 
Uh, let me uh, think about that. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you mine straight off the top. I want a pre-nerf Vex Mythoclast. Oh, oh dude, yes. <laughs> oh. Dude, I actually have a clip with that. It was, oh, dude, I love that gun. Yeah, you think the sandbox is balanced now? Well, you add that into the mix. It, <laughs> right. 40, for very long. it did 44 to the head, dude, or 57. It I was forgot, nuts. <laughs> It was oh so God. much fun. So much fun. Um, yeah, if you want to think on it for a sec, we can roll to another question um, that uh, that Just for Bad Gamers type. He says, what's the build in PvP that you find the most difficult to overcome? Crimson Winters, Thorn Winters, Shappy Summoner, Revoker Gnawing, etc. Sorry, what was that? If you could add what? Uh, no, what's the... What's the um what is the build in pvp that you find the most difficult to overcome okay um like now or in the past now hmm. <laughs> ruby's really excited i i think i think it i think when i'm playing against someone who's abusing the memento mori ace of spades that one is very uh frustrating because if you don't have like uh, the damage buff, then it's like a little, too, a little strong, but I don't know. You can normally overcome Ace and Thelunters. I know I think... mine. What you got? I'm, What's the most annoying I, for you to play against? I I would say 120 is like an explosive round 120 with a shatter dive. Uh, say like if you watch like Pantho play. Mm -hmm. or, or someone who uses that that's so annoying to play against oh, in the 120s like they just have infinite range and they flinch you so hard so i don't know i'd say that's really really annoying and difficult to play against especially if you have like explosive rounds on that because like yeah. you if you watch panda like i was watching panda earlier and people would be like around corners regening their hp and you would just shoot the floor and still be damaging them so like there's just like it's really hard to fight against like it's super annoying yeah absolutely i i 100 agree so it's funny that uh um it's funny that you guys keep mentioning pantho because uh i mean we could do the announcement now one of the guests for scrim school next week is going to be pantho nice yeah so we'll have him on here next week and we're working on I think it might actually be a special one and we're gonna have um three guests we're working on the other two right now but uh yeah pantho's gonna be on for next week which will be sick it'll be kind of fun um i saw another question hold on lamb had another really good one and then carlos i'll jump on yours um where to go where to go where to go i'm scrolling back up uh what's more annoying in comp getting solo nova bombed or solo blade barraged <laughs> Oh. I, I think you probably replace that with a uh, solo like stasis super and like solo oh, stasis facts. hunter now. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. I, I don't know. That's pretty annoying. It's just like why, dude? Like you just yeah. <laughs> that in, on me. But I don't know. Like it, it. It might suck at the time, but it's actually like a good thing probably that they like didn't use it to shut down a super. Right. Or like you know, like when a like if it goes to overtime in comp or something, they could use it then. But it's actually like probably a good thing that they waste super on you, honestly. So I don't really mind it. I don't get annoyed by it that much. I'm just kind of like cool at the time. <laughs> but in the end, it's a good thing. I mean, I definitely solo super as a meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if you're way winning, you're like, oh, surprise. <laughs> yeah, like at that point, it doesn't matter if you're up by that much. You can mm -hmm. just do whatever. Or like second or third super of the game. Just like, eh, yeah. here we are. <laughs> um, Carlos says... How do you feel about the Mask of Bacchus bringing back Blinking Hunters? Mask of Bacchus, what about Blinking Hunters? Uh, bringing back Blinking Hunters. Okay. So bringing, mm -hmm. pretty much bringing hunt, Hunter Blink back. Uh, it's I, actually I, I don't pretty think strong. That, yeah, I, I, I just think there's no point to running it over like Stompies yeah. or Dragon Shadow. I don't I think agree. it's that good. And I think Stompies are still by far the best hunter exotic to run because like it honestly like is very bad that you don't your dodge doesn't start regenning until 10 seconds after you dodge. Yeah, like the actual ability is very strong, 
Yeah. But I just think like Stompy's like you're just as mobile and you still have the dodge and the shatter dive. So I don't know, it's kind of like overkill and you're not getting the utility out of the Stompy's. And once you do dodge, you're kind of helpless because you don't have that dodge back for so long and you're just kind of stranded there. I agree. Do you think they should have brought it back as an actual like dodge perk? No. Oh. <laughs> no. The hunter main says no. No, because dude, like, like it's cool. It's like it's just like gimmicky, dude. Because like when so when I'm playing someone who has it, and then they just fucking disappear from me. I'm like, dude, what is that, bro? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it's like Blink has never been like good in terms of tournament, you know, and like against good players. Because when you are like blinking and stuff like that, you're like helpless pretty much. But right. blinking blinking is very good for like pub stomping or against players that are kind of lost, you know? You can well. blink past <laughs> them and, you know, like just shoddy them really quick or something like that. But against good players, they're just going to turn on you, especially on PC and especially on mouse and keyboard where they can just 180 in half a second. Yep. No, it, it makes sense. I mean... I thought it was cool to see it on Warlocks. I just wish that Warlocks uh, Noble Warp was better, you know? The super, yeah, and the handheld yeah, exactly. is really bad now. Exactly. I mean, handheld handheld is still one shot, but it does damage to you as well to get that one shot, you know? Yeah, and it takes forever to like charge up and throw at someone too now. Mm -hmm. I used to main that actually back with Astro Sight. Um, but yeah, the class has been destroyed. Like it used to be so much fun with Astrocyte and Noble Warping. You were so fast. Like you were one of the fastest classes in the game with that just blinking around everywhere. But the super is terrible now. The handheld's terrible now. I think they just destroyed that class pretty much. Yep, absolutely. Um, chat, do you have any more questions? Otherwise we are going to jump into the practical portion. We're giving a sec just to see. No, <laughs> everyone's really excited to go against you guys. Uh, my question for chat before we get into this, is there anyone new that actually wants to learn first? Um, yeah, Any uh, anyone that actually wants to learn versus um, trying to go against everybody? Because the, the whole purpose behind this is to get students in to learn from the guests each week. And if we get students in here, I will take you both. There will be a and uh, um, I will take you both and split you up on opposite teams. And then we'll rotate. That way you guys can, you know, teach the newer players separately so that they can learn the way you guys play. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, otherwise, good. otherwise, I know when we first start out, we start out with the higher level, and everybody wants to try and run first. But I do. I if you want to learn, speak up. I'm not the best player. I'm here learning just with you guys. Um, so I don't want you to think that you're just going to get ran and and you're not going to learn anything from it. It's it's an experience to be able to learn from these insane players at how they got so good at what they did. Um, otherwise, let's uh. Let's take a little break. You guys can go use the restroom um, to get a drink of water, whatever you want to do. We'll queue up the game and uh, and we'll get it popping. Yeah. Yeah. Also, chat, if you have any questions, feel free to type in chat. And gentlemen, you can talk while we're on the Be Right Back screen. Uh, and yeah, they'll be able to hear you. So we will be right back. <laughs> 